We thank you for allowing us to come to this corner of the earth, the place where we dedicate for Mr. Wiggins this place, that say to us that he has served well his eight years as county as city councilman and 24 years as county commissioner indicates to us that he believes that service is one of the best things that one can do for those that he served. We ask that this dedication bring back memory, days that he started and days that he's continuing to serve. And we dedicated to name it after him that we might know that Dedicate this place to our fine people that Mr. Wiggins has served us and served us well. Bless now the hearts of those who are sharing in this celebration that we might give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Through Christ our Lord we do pray. Amen. Amen. All of you have a program. If you don't have a program, we got plenty over here. Eric, you got the program, right? Anybody that doesn't have a program, just let Eric know. I'm, I'm going to bring up somebody that absolutely needs no introduction at this point. And where are you, TK? I can't find you. Yeah, yeah, TK Butterfield. Congressman, come on up and say a few words to this group. TK told us he's coming up. He... Butterfield told me one time that ne I've never met an audience I didn't want to talk to. <laughs> Hello, Rocky Mount. Hello. When Lamont Wiggins called me several weeks ago and asked me if I would come over today, I said, only if it's not 98 degrees. <laughs> thank God. All right. It's good to see all of you. It's good to be back in Rocky Mount and thank all of you for your friendship, all of you. Um, what you do in Rocky Mount and Edgecombe County and, and surrounding communities. As I span the audience, I just see so, so many people that I recognize, people that I love, people who have supported. Somehow that is, that is offensive to me to refer to someone as important people. But all of you are very special people, and you're very committed to the work that you do here in, in Rocky Mount. On a personal note, all of you know by now that I am retiring at the end of this year. After 18 long years in Congress and 15 years as a judge in North Carolina and 13 years as a practicing attorney, it's time to pass the torch on to someone else. And so I want to personally thank you in Edgecombe County, Rocky Mount, for all that you have meant to my career down through the years. I came to you in 1988 and asked for your support and I got it. Came back in 2004 and told you I wanted to run for Congress and one of the, the very first person I went to was Leonard Wiggins and Lamont Wiggins and got their support. But you guys have been there with me from day one and I just want to say on a personal note, thank you very much. Uh, this is a special day. We recognize our dear friend, uh, Commissioner Leonard Wiggins. And you know it's a special day when he puts on a necktie. <laughs> let, a, let the record show that Leonard Wiggins has on a necktie today. <laughs> uh, but, but Leonard is a, a very special friend. I've known him for years, and he's been a friend and a confidant. And, and I just think it's so fitting that you take a moment today to name this parkway uh, in his honor. When I think of Leonard Wiggins, a lot of things come through my mind. A lot of serious things come through my mind. A lot of unserious things come through my mind, but we won't go there today. But the serious things that come through my mind are, number one, he graduated from historic 
Booker T. Washington High School. If you don't live and breathe Rocky Mount, you don't have a passion for what I'm talking about. But back during the 40s and 50s and 60s, it was Booker T. Washington High School that transformed the African American community in Rocky Mount. Not only transformed the black community, but it transformed the, the economy of Rocky Mount. It transformed uh, this community in so many ways. And so when I think of Leonard, think of Booker T. Washington High School. You know, during those, in, in the years pre, in the, in, during the Depression and during the war years, uh, there was only one black high school anywhere in Edgecombe County, and it was Booker T. Washington High School. There were no high schools in the rural communities. There were very few, very few elementary schools out in the rural community, and it was Booker T. Washington that led the way in demanding a public education for African Americans. And so, having been a graduate of Booker T. Washington, I think is the first thing that that comes to my mind. But also, the second thing is the fact that when he graduated high school, what did he do? He volunteered for the Army. The U.S. Army in 1956 was recently integrated. Harry Truman had integrated uh, the, the, the military in 1948, as I recall, and it was like uh, just six or seven years into the desegregation of the military services. And so he was one of the first African Americans to serve in an integrated military, and that stands out as well. And so I just want to come today to thank him and to congratulate him and to, to say you have many, many accomplishments on your record. Not only have you served the people of the city of Rocky Mount and the county of Edgecombe for so many years, not only have you loved and supported your families, but the greatest accomplishment, I believe, one of the greatest accomplishments in your lifetime, sir, is to see your son, your namesake, become the senior resident Superior Court Judge for this district. That has got to be an honor. You have done well. Thank you very much. Congressman, it's always good to have you here. Thank you for being here. I'm going to ask now, uh, we got some DOT people here. Where's Ronnie Keeter? Ronnie Keeter's in the back. Ronnie, wave your hands so they see who you are and blame you. No, no, no. Ronnie is the guy that helped us build this road. I guess. Keeter and Jim Trogdon, who is not here, could not come. We expected uh, Jim Trogdon to be here. And Bobby Lewis, I understand, just got back to D.C., G.K. Maybe you had him at captive up there or something. But anyway, my anyway uh, but we're going to ask Kevin Bowen, who is the Division Four guy, to come up now and say a few words. Kevin? ceremony like this. Uh, to honor Chairman Wiggins to celebrate the Kingsborough uh, Business Board. I want to thank you for inviting me to participate in this event. Our mission at DOT is connecting people, products, and places safely and efficiently with customer focus, accountability, environmental sensitivity to enhance the economy and vitality in North Carolina. We manage over 80,000 miles of roadway and 18,000 bridges and culverts statewide. We have the second largest highway system in the U.S. In our work, we have close contact with citizens all over our state, especially the local civic and political leadership in the regions we serve. Without these relationships and collaboration, our work at DOT would be likely misguided and incomplete. People like Mr. Wiggins, chairman of the Edgecombe County Commissioners, is an excellent example of people we work with routinely. While I may not work directly with him very often, we at DOT are very much aware of the needs of Edgecombe County and the needs around the Kingsborough Business Park through his leadership and his support team. Since this park is so important to Edgecombe County and the whole region for that matter, it's very appropriate that this entrance is being dedicated to him. Projects like this don't just happen. A project of this magnitude requires very strong local leadership and support. And all of us at DOT knew how important this road was to the park. And we knew how strongly the local political leadership wanted it to happen. As the saying goes, when Mr. Wiggins speaks, people listen. Former Secretary Jim Trogdon, Bobby Lewis, our former Chief Operating Officer, and Ronnie Keeter, former Chief Engineer, and those of us in Division 4 listen well. And what you see here today is a result 
for strong cooperation and decisive leadership for Mr. Wiggins and his team. So I'm pleased to be a part of this dedication that recognizes Mr. Wiggins for all of his accomplishments and for all of his contributions to the Kingsboro Business Park and all of Edgecombe County. He deserves to be recognized. And Mr. Wiggins, we at DOT are just as proud of the Leonard Wiggins Parkway as you are. Thank you for being such a good partner. And thank you all for being here today. And while his name is not on our program, but instrumental to everything we do in Edgecombe County, I want to ask Shelly Willing here. Shelly, where are you? Come on up, Shelly. Mr. Wiggins, you can uh, put your hat back on if you want to. Shell has got his on. <laughs> 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 the first thing I want to do is to welcome everybody here. Welcome you to Edgecombe County. Uh, also, welcome our friends from Nash County and uh, those who are out in the area. When I came up, uh, when, uh, I was told that uh, we were going to be dedicating this road to. Uh, my friend, uh, then I, I thought about, I said, well, I thought about when I was on the county commissioner, uh, Reverend Walker was up there, and we started talking about industrial development in the site during that time. So this is really kind of the end of the road, you know, the kind of things that we were doing then because we were raked over the coal because we were going to spend some money by land and to set it up for industrial development. Uh, of course, as a result of that, we ended up getting QVC, that's which did, did come in this industrial site. But at the same time, that was one of the things that happened as a result of what we were doing. So this site has been mentioned. Uh, this is one of the premier sites in North Carolina. We're talking about mega sites. Well, this is really the only true mega site right now in North Carolina that's ready for development, ready for companies are coming that's ready to go. So this is very important and this is also something that will project Edgecombe County further into the future. We are on the road. I think it's extremely appropriate that we name this uh, road after Leonard. As been mentioned, uh, it's a lot of history. GK gave all the history the background, so I'm just going to say that Lennon has done a lot of things that you probably haven't even seen on the As commissioners and elected officials, they get involved in things that you never hear about, that they're working for you. And this is what Lennon has done. He's worked for the county I and mean, doing things that you know we would never uh, think about, but at the same time, they are important. And they're things that has to be done, things that we must do to make progress go, such as what we have here today. So I'm just proud to be here uh, to help him to honor, to honor him, brother, to talk about what a great honor it is to have him be here and to name this road after him. So I would uh, say to that, congratulations, and, and hopefully you'll continue to serve us and continue to do the things that you're doing. And I'm going to try to continue to do the things that I'm doing in the late legislature by getting funding and trying to help us uh, get what we need so that we can continue to be the light of, uh, you know, the eastern North Carolina, because I think that's what this is, uh, the mega site. And we talk about this a lot at, at the state level. And so hopefully we'll be able to fill this up and move forward, which I'm, I feel pretty confident that that's what's going to happen. And it would not have happened if we had not had this site and the commission had not had the vision to go ahead and get these things done. So I thank you for inviting me. And again, I welcome all of those who are not from Edgecombe County to Edgecombe County. And I say hello and welcome again to those who are from Edgecombe County. Thank you. I'm also delighted uh, a guy that has put a lot of effort into getting here. Melvin Mitchell is here now. He drove all the way back to Fayetteville to be at this event. So, Melvin, I'm going to ask you to come up now and say a few words. Uh, Melvin is the, the board member, the NCDOT board member from Rocky Mount for this area of the state. Thank you. And hey, greetings. First, good morning to God. 
I uh, just left Fayetteville State. I went to the uh, installation ceremony for our chancellor, and I was invited by him to come up there, but I had to leave because I could not miss the, this event. So the reason why I'm just getting because I'm just rushing for Fayetteville uh, uh, to get here uh, for this event. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank you for allowing me to say a few words. It's very important that, that, that we realize that in order for things to be done, you have to have certain individuals who are able to take the bull by the horn, I say, and get the job done. And that person is Chumma Wiggins. Uh, <clears throat> and pay tribute to the wonderful contribution Chumma Wiggins who helped make this project possible. I want to thank them for that. Why? Because you have to have vision. You have to have good leadership. And that he possesses. It's only fitting today to dedicate the interest road after Sherman Wiggins. Uh, he's recognized so while across this country, and for good reason. He has served over 25 years on the Board of Commission. He studied, his steady leadership on the as Board of Chairman has brought fruition and great works in Edgecombe County. His strong civic contributions, such as Edgecombe Community College, uh, trustee, and also the Social Service Board, just to name a few. Simply put, he made this county a better place for all of us. As we all know, a project this significant can't happen without strong support. And North Carolina Department of Transportation received that support from Edgecombe County Board of Commission. And the saying goes around here. When Mr. Wiggins speak, people listen. That's what strong leaders do and how they get things done. This road will forever bear your name, Leonard Wiggins, Parkway. Uh, this is a wonderful treat, testament uh, to your efforts, uh, Chairman Wiggins. And I look back and, and see one thing I must say. Chairman Wiggins possesses four cognitive functions of manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. His love for his family, for God, and the citizens of Edgecombe County is unwavering. And for that, sir, I thank you. I thank you. Let me ask if any of uh, Chairman Wiggins' colleagues want to come up and say a word or two. Any of the commissioners want to come up and say a few words? I'm not going to ask you twice. <laughs> Going once, gone. <laughs> All right. Then, then it's. I thought that was a commission. Uh, I. It, it now. It's now my duty to say a few words before I turn it back over to the family and to uh, Eric Evans. You know, Mr. Wiggins, we and I have done a couple of things together. One of the things I want to share with you that I was not going to talk about, I just thought about it this afternoon as I got here. Chairman Wiggins and I went to China together. And he was my guide. <laughs> I mean, he, he kind of kept me and Secretary Copeland, who was along on that trip, he kind of kept us straight. And when we almost missed an airplane, I didn't realize how long his legs were until I... I saw how fast he could run, not to miss that air. <laughs> we made it with, what, what, 30 seconds to spare? Thank you. I appreciate you doing that, because otherwise I'd still be in sole career. <laughs> I, I got to thinking about, what would I say about, you know, I knew there's a lot of people going to be up here like GK and others that don't have more eloquent things to say than I might say. So I got to think about, how would I address uh, an issue that, like Leonard Wiggins and the Leonard Wiggins Parkway and well, what would I say that might be different than everybody else that's going to be up here? And, you know, I got to think about it. You know, folks, you just got to love and praise a man who spent almost all of his life in public service, serving other people. And you got to respect him as well. So I started shopping around, as I like to do, for a quote that I thought would probably relate to him pretty well. And there's a, a poet by the name of George Bernard Shaw, quote that Senator Robert Kennedy used a lot and it goes something like this. Some men see things as they are and ask why. 
and I changed it a little bit. I said, Leonard Wiggins sees things as they are, and, so, and he doesn't ask why. He asks why not. And that, that in me, to me, personified Leonard Wiggins and his vision for what is going on in Edgecombe County these days, and that's his work as chairman. So I ask you, what a better way to describe Leonard Wiggins, I mean, other than the parkway, and you'll be able to see the sign when they unveil it here in a minute. But what a better way to, to describe Leonard Wiggins and his contribution, one of his many contributions to Edgecombe County, that just, if these trees weren't here, you could be able to turn around and gaze out over 2,000 acres of not land, but opportunity. 2,000 acres of opportunity for more tax money for the Edgecombe County. 2,000 acres that's going to give us better schools and a better quality of life. And just a general better quality of ability to be able to do things for the future generations that are going to be in this county. And so, you know, Mr. Wiggins, instead of saying a lot more and maybe ruining some famous quote that I didn't generate, I want to just say thank you for what you've done. I'm proud of what you've done. I'm proud of being able to serve beside you, for you, and with you. And I'm equally proud that we are naming this parkway in your behalf because generations to come will be able to drive down this road to that mega site that's sitting out there, 2,000 acres of it, and we'll remember that you were one of the principal people that made it all happen. I thank you. I thank you. And I wish you, all of you, to give him a round of applause and to stand up and that you can and give him a round of applause. this 
community, uh, this area and this region for allowing him and us to serve this region as public servants. Um, and it's a reflective moment because he has always been a champion for this site, the Kingsboro mega site and this region. And when I say this region, I talk about the whole area. And, you know, we can be creative and use your own imagination when it comes to regions. I'm not going to call cities. I'm not going to call counties because we have a multitude of individuals and entities represented here today from all over the state and from neighboring jurisdictions. So I say the region uh, because in championing this site, he has always said that it can and it will have a regional impact. And as we stand here or sit here at this site today, you know, we have what has been tagged in, in sight distance as one of the largest structural fires in the history of the state. But if you look in another direction, you see uh, another industrial site that is fully built. It is going full bore, and it is the result of good, sound leadership and economic development. We have a major four-lane thoroughfare that gives us access to a major port and other modalities for commerce and transportation within two hours. And, you know, it's been mentioned here today, it's been mentioned leadership, it's been mentioned vision, uh, but that is all a result of what he has championed for years. And we know that he will continue to champion this area, this region, and this site. Um, and again, for that, for that reflective moment, um, as, as we move forward in the future, and as we have come here together today, the, the touch word is cooperation. It is regionalism regionalism and if we can come together for only only a small moment to uh, to recognize an individual a leader who has done something good and positive for this region then we can come together for any number of other issues and ideas that impact this region uh, and I hope I didn't steal his thunder because I know he's going to talk about that. And we did not get together on our comments at all, <laughs> okay? Because that is just him. He's always, he's always about being thoughtful, and he's always about putting it together and moving it forward. And I was told I had to make a presentation. So, Pop, Daddy, come forward. <laughs>
Good evening, everybody. Thank you. It's an honor to be a public servant. You know, as, as much as I'm honored by having my name put on the sign, I'm more honored just by your presence. You know, it looks good out there. And I see family and friends. And most everybody here I'm familiar with. Uh, but I'm going to ask that this time my sisters stand. All of my sisters. These are my sisters. Gloria, Gloria, Mary, Mary, and Ruby. Uh, this one tell me, try to tell me what to do all of it. <laughs> now I'm going to ask all of the rest of my family, y'all just sit down. Y'all look too old to stand up. <laughs> I'm going to ask the rest of my family to stand. These are my nieces and nephews. My, my daughter-in-law and, and, and my son. My grandson. Y'all please sit down. Everybody else out there, these are friends. Everybody else out there, please stand. These, these are my friends. Okay. You please keep standing. You please keep standing. Go ahead, everybody, please sit down. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, these are Commissioner Harris. Uh, Commissioner Hines, Commissioner Powell. Um, I must mention the names of the others, Commissioner Webb, Commissioner Roswell, and Commissioner Wooten. I always say that, go ahead, please say that. Uh, it's got to be one plus three to make anything happen, okay? No one of us can make anything happen. So I came on this board in 1996. And the board at that present time was talking about just buying this land, which I didn't really understand at that time why we wanted to buy some land. But if you sit at the table and you continue to look at the vision of those that have this vision, you take home the vision. So I must give credit to all of those previous commissioners up until this board. We do not have a vote on anything that happens out here unless it was a unanimous vote. All of the commissioners have approved. I also must ask our staff, please raise your hands. This is our team. It's done all the red work that has made this happen. Also, thank you for the dedicated work that you do and the hard work that you do. And then that is the partnership, the Gateway Partnership. All of those, please, Mr. Wooten, Ape, you you here? I mean, Mr. Tolson, Ape. These are the people that that we feel responsible of the work to make this happen. It's worth every dollar that we have invested. In. I think all of the elected officials are here because it is because of all of you, the partnerships that we've had with all of you that make this happen. You know, and it's a double honor for me today because my son has presented me, senior resident judge, and we are we are very proud of that, has presented me with this honor. You know, it, when you were raising a child in our community, you didn't know what they're going to turn out to be. <laughs> you turned out pretty good. <laughs> I, can, I, I can talk to him like that, okay? <laughs> I can talk to him like that. But, but you know, but to the, the family, the time, uh, Lamont uh, stayed there. You know that. Uh, none of what I can do, uh, you all have great input, and none of what I can do. You know, and they're, they're, they're excellent critics. <laughs> Uncle Leonard, you ought to. Uncle Leonard, you ought to. But it, it's good Uncle Leonard, okay? 
and it's good criticism, especially some of my great nieces and good ladies. They give me tough times sometimes, but it's a good, tough time. You know, it's the, the kind of question and home conversations that we need to have to help us make those decisions. Um, you know, uh, the this vision here, it is a reality. It's getting closer to more than I probably can say here to becoming a complete reality. There are a lot of conversations that our partnership having with mega industries, mega businesses to come. And I'm hoping that before my lifetime that we will be able to see apartments out here, convenience stores, uh, housing, all of that is, is part of a proposed plan. But I, I want to also go back to the, the, the Board of Transportation, Transportation folks. You know, uh, you all have been, since I've been on the board, very cooperative in helping us to complete a project. And none of these projects can be complete unless got your robes in them. You've got the cooperation. And the things that we do in executive session, those things that you never get an opportunity to hear are the things that, that uh, I need to cut that off. <laughs> the things that we, and I know how to cut it off. <laughs> I used to know how to cut it off. <laughs> but, but, oh, just a thank you. Uh, I, I like to thank all of our neighboring uh, elected officials that came I just can't say thank you enough. Most of you have said it all. Uh, so I'm going to say, I've, I've, see, I've got friends here from out of town. Uh, I'm going to recognize Bridget Palmer. Go ahead, Bridget and me. Um, uh, that's, uh, that's the wife of our previous manager who also played a very important role in what we've got. Here. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've, got, I've got some. I've got several friends here, I'm not going to keep all their names, but I do, I know I have friends here that have come from distances to see this happen. So I'm just going to say uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I wish I had some mom or dad and brothers and sisters to see this. Uh, <laughs> really, <laughs> thank you again, lady. Just call 
So can we have everybody look forward? I'm a, are we going to... All right. So go count to three and just hold it. One, two, three, and hold it. Lift it and hold it. There you go. I got it. Let me get you Got you. Got you. Yeah, All right. Before you leave, we do have one final uh, presentation to make. I'm on the program and I'm the preacher, so you know I gotta get No. You don't have to return to your seat. Yeah. Yeah. Get him one with him by himself, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Give Mr. Wiggins by himself. Get one with Mr. Wiggins and Leonard by himself. And we're going to let you step in there. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Teresa, let me let me get one, Teresa. That's okay, that's all right, he can stay. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Wiggins. You are certainly well deserving of this. Uh, about a year ago, Norris Oppie and I were uh, meeting, and I said, we need to talk about what we're going to name this new road. And, I, and I, I lied to you not, all three of us at the same time said, how about we name it after Mr. Wiggins? And I think probably if all of us were in that meeting, probably unanimously would have said the same thing. And I think that's, that says a lot about uh, what we think about you, Mr. Wiggins, and how much we appreciate you. Um, you know, this being able to be here at Kingsborough, we're just talking a year from now, it's going to be so much construction going on here, we wouldn't be able to have this. And we stand on the shoulders of all of our leaders before us. I know Reverend Walker, former commissioner, Reverend Spruill, who is here, Mr. C.B. Dautrich, who's here, former commissioner, thank you for being here, our current commissioners, they do such a wonderful job. And I've been with the county for almost 22 years, been manager for almost seven. I do stand on the shoulders of Mr. Lorenzo Carmen, who was our fearless leader for 14 years. Um, and Mr. Wiggins has been both, uh, he has both pushed me the hardest, but he has also uh, encouraged me the most. And it means a lot to me, Mr. Wiggins, and I appreciate this. Uh, Governor Cooper wished that he could be here today, and he sent this to you, and it says, Dear friends, as governor of North Carolina and a native of eastern North Carolina, I am proud to welcome you to the dedication of the Honorable 
Leonard Wiggins Parkway here in Edgecombe County. I know this is an exciting and much anticipated event. Chairman Wiggins has spent his adult life in the service to others, first by serving his county in the United States Army and then his dedication to improving the lives of those in his community and across North Carolina. He has served with dignity and honor and is certainly deserving of this recognition. My best wishes to Chairman Wiggins and to each of you for continued success in all of your future endeavors. With warm personal regard regards, I am very truly yours, Roy Cooper, Governor of North Carolina, and he personally signed congrats to Leonard on this outstanding and well-deserved honor. Congratulations, Mr. Right. Thank you all for coming. You're welcome to take more pictures if you like. Why don't y'all take the pictures by the sign? Why don't you take the pictures by the sign? Come on, we're about to sign.
What you're looking at now is um, Business Highway 64 that runs from Rocket Mount to Tarboro, where you see the cars going by. The road going to the uh, Industrial Parkway. This is the road running to QBC and the bridge um, at the Kingsborough exit. Get off to go left to go to Tarboro, go right to Rocky Mountain. So it's been a great time. And uh, this is brought to you by 